for the first time ever, we are going to make a child say, I want to read more. A worldwide study puts Filipino high school students at the bottom of the ladder in terms of reading comprehension. That's according to the Program for International Student Assessment, which showed Filipinos lagging behind 79 countries. That was stressful, wasn't it? Good thing our school, besides the university, we're encouraging us to take part into our communities in life and as TPC to go TS to do something that will potentially improve the literacy rate of our country. She is my beneficiary for my I Wanna Read project implementation. And I chose her firstly because she lives the closest to my home among the 23 second grade pupils in Kagbuhangin Elementary School who were found by their teachers, those who need further assistance when it comes to reading. And secondly, because of me. My first time reading Ivy was when I pre-assessed her reading skills. I was really shocked because she could not give me the right name for a simple letter as A. But then going to the letter combinations and words, she did quite well but just on a satisfactory level. Especially in her mother tongue, which is Visaya and in the Filipino. However, when it comes to the English language, she really had a pretty hard time. After the pre-assessment, I knew to myself that this girl has so much potential and unlocking such potential in her saying that she wants to read more are going to be the goals of this project. And so I spent five days of giving her a daily one-hour reading tutorial in Visaya, Filipino and English. And of course, there were challenges as firstly, I had to walk under the heat and rain just to get there. And secondly, I had to wear a mask in the entire session. And it made me insecure because math movement is essential in helping a child properly utter a letter, a syllable, or word that are being taught to them. But I couldn't do that because of COVID. Anyway, on our reading sessions, I found Ivy to be really quick in learning how to read words syllabically. The sad thing was, it's not the case for English. For example, if this is correctly read as bale in Tagalog, it is correctly read as bail in English. Which Ivy admitted herself to be something that's new to her. And so, learning how to read in the Bisaya dialect and Filipino language was really smooth. But I had to spend more time, actually most of our time, teaching her how to read in English. And there came the reading post assessment. I promised to give her something at the end if she gets a better score compared to the pre-assessment. But I don't think that was her source of the drive that I saw in her during the post assessment. This is not made up, but Ivy seemed more confident in facing the test material. Ball. Peel, hole, mail, yeah. meal, okay, very good. Roll a rod, okay, very good. and she was a lot quicker in telling me her responses, which turned out to be the correct responses. She did really well that she had a perfect score during the post-assessment, and that made me feel really happy for her. The height of the fulfillment that I felt after completing the I Wanna Read project was on its maximum. I think it was the most fulfilling project that I've ever done my entire years of schooling yet. But what's more important are the lessons that I've earned from the experience. I found the beauty of serving others. I always believed that I was born to teach, and to do it to someone who really needs the help was extremely rewarding in a way that I did not expect. Also, I learned that one-to-one -one teaching should be done by educators to save the learning of those that are vulnerable, and that those who are vulnerable should not be afraid to reach out. I realized that even before when I saw my classmates just being left behind by some of my teachers despite not assuring if they have really understood what are being taught to them. And they would tell me to help them when I teach them. They would tell me, you know what, I didn't really understand the lesson but thanks to you for giving me this one-to-one -one help. Considering the current literacy rate of many students in our country, I guess it is about time to maximize one-to-one -one methods in teaching. Because with what I saw in my beneficiary, it really helped her, and I guess more learners need help, so it should be done. And lastly, I learned that my heart really goes to doing it, to teach learners, inspire, and further build their lives. I saw it to be my purpose, and I could not wait to maximize it when I get to the actual teaching field. I wanna read more.